Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. And in this video, we are going to be talking about open URL action in Swift UI. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, basically, first we're gonna talk about what is open URL. So open URL is basically an environment variable and it provides ability to open URLs from Swift UI views. We can use it to open websites, email forms, deep links embedded in apps or settings in settings app on the device. Now, open URL uh, structure is defined in apps environment and it gives us basically access to its instance for apps current environment via environment variable. Now we use it to open URLs in response to some actions performed by the user or the app. Okay, so let's go ahead and put together an example and we'll see in action. So for this example, we are going to be opening devtechy.com using open URL. Okay, so we're going to start with basically an environment variable. The key path is going to be open URL. Okay, we're gonna create a variable for this open URL. All right, and let's go ahead and uh, basically change our body a bit uh, to have this information. So what we're gonna do, uh, basically have an action. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a button. Okay, and in this button, we're gonna have an action. And the action is going to be calling a function, which we're going to create in a minute. Open that key. And for the label, we're going to use a text, which is going to read check out that key.com. And for the image, we're gonna say system name globe.americas.bill. All right, let's go ahead and fix this error because right now our uh, Xcode uh, basically is complaining that it cannot find open devtechy in the scope. So we're gonna create a private function. Uh, let's create just a regular function. And uh, we're gonna basically have a guard statement creating our URL from URL struct, providing a string, which is gonna be HTTPS colon double slash www.devtechy.com, okay? And if we can't create a URL object, we wanna actually return from here, all right? Once we have successfully created the URL, we're gonna simply call open URL, the variable that we have created, which holds the reference or callable function for the open URL structure. And we're gonna simply pass the URL. Okay, now everything is looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and build and run this app. So I'm gonna open the simulator and uh, Basically, the simulator should show a single button onto the screen and uh, that button upon clicking should take us onto Safari on mobile and basically open devtechy.com. So check out devtechy.com. I'm gonna click on it and soon enough, it's gonna basically open devtechy.com. We can accept all these and there we have devtechy.com being rendered in its um, complete form inside mobile safari okay so this is basically how we open a url but we can open more than a url we can open settings app uh, using open url so what i'm going to do to keep things simple i'm going to create another function here we're going to have function open settings app and the settings app is going to have a guard statement to create once again a url and we're going to construct our url from a string this time around the string is going to come from ui application 
we're going to say UI application dot open settings. URL string. So basically this is going to give us open settings URL string. And we're going to say if we cannot resolve this, just simply return from here. Okay. Once we have the URL, we're simply going to say open URL, URL, just like before. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create another button and we're going to say open uh, for the action. We're going to say open settings app. And for the body, we are simply going to have a text, which is going to say open settings and for the image, we're gonna have system name. And the system name is gonna be gear.circle.fill. Okay, let's go ahead and build and run. What we should see is another button, this time open the settings app. And instead of opening the website, we are now open opening the settings app so if for some reason you want to provide your uh, you want to take your users to settings app maybe for some permissions and stuff um, you can actually use open url for that purpose now open url also supports a uh, basically a trailing closure okay now trailing closure gives us access to a boolean variable which indicates whether the url can be opened or not we can use this method uh, when attempting to basically open a URL asynchronously. We can use this and the result will indicate whether the system is able to open the URL or not. The completion runs after the system decides whether it can open the URL or not. Now, we're going to build a functionality and you're going to see this in action. So let's add another function or example. And in this case, we will try to open mail URL. On simulator now simulator doesn't have the mail app installed so opening of URL uh, that actually is referencing to an email is gonna fail and we should actually get a message we're gonna print a message in the console uh, essentially saying like you know the um, uh, whether the operation was successful or not okay so we're gonna go back into our code and right underneath our open settings app, we're going to create another function. We're going to call this function open mail app. Open mail app. Okay. Once again, we're going to have a card statement, which is going to be a URL with string. And the string is going to be dev techie inc at gmail.com okay and we're gonna say else return return well return there we go okay you're gonna open the url passing the url and then it actually gets gives us a completion block so we're gonna say result which is a boolean that we get and we're gonna print opening mail app success whatever the result is okay so this should fail and uh, we can actually create a button for this all right and uh, this button is gonna say send email to devtechie.com and for the image, we're gonna say it's gonna be an envelope dot open. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and build and run. And uh, we should have we should get this. Uh, basically, I'm gonna clear the uh, console, and we should get this third button. Clicking on it. Oh, it's trying to open. Da, 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 da. Yes, that makes sense. Open mail app. There you go. Okay, let's build and run one more time. And I'm gonna clear the console. 
try to print, try to open it, and it says opening mail app success is false. Okay, so if you try this on the uh, real device, you would actually get a better, a different experience. Once again, uh, the intent for this video was to show you that you can use open URL to not only open web-based URLs, but it is actually much more than that. I would highly recommend reading more about open URL, but hopefully this serves the purpose. Thank you so much once again for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you.